Hello everybody and welcome back to my Stardew Valley chilled out let's play uh, Today is finally the big day the Easter egg festival So what we're gonna do is just start off by Watering our few crops here And then I am gonna be going and buying a whole load of strawberries Hopefully making some good money to start us off with a good sort of run for summer um, obviously because of the festival this will be a bit of a shorter episode but that should be fine there we go that's all done so we'll pop that back in there for now actually I'll tell you what I'll take that out I'll refill it because I'm probably going to need it because I want to water the strawberries when I first plant them tonight even though I know it's a bit risky doing it when you get back because it's I think it's 10 o'clock or 12 o'clock something like that when you actually get back but for now let's make some fertilizer there we go that should be plenty more than enough uh, don't really need anything else just gotta wait until I think it was 8 o'clock the thing said it's either 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock and there we go pet the cat I think what we're gonna quickly do is trim back some of this grass as well because it's getting very close but I don't want to get rid of too much of it because once I get a silo I can use all this to collect my own hay because I've been seeing a lot of comments about Marnie in particular, who is sometimes very hard to track down if you want to try and buy your um, hay for any animals that you get later on. So I think it's best just to try and leave as much of the grass as I can so that I can make my own. Uh, let's see, is everything else sorted? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really much else that we can do today anyway. So let's have a look, see if we can go there now. Stop off, pick up a leak. It's always a win. Um, and also, I believe salmon berry season's coming soon, so that'll be good. Uh, being set up, so I've, I believe it is nine o'clock. So that's only a few seconds away. Come in. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm sure there used to be a scarecrow you could buy here, but oh uh, well. Well, yeah, 25, I'm just going to go with that for now. And that'll be it. So we've got plenty of fertilizer for that, so we can do that. Everyone's having a good time. Stand behind the bunny. And the, I am going to give it a shot at doing the bunny egg hunt. I've never won it since I've ever played this game. Like I said before, uh, generally Abigail seems to be the winner all the time. But let's see what we can do. Uh, I believe we talked to Senor Mayor. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt yet? I'm certainly not, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I had a look. Apparently you want to get sort of around eight or nine eggs and that gives you a very good chance of winning So uh, Let's let's get it started. Let's go It's time for the highlight of today's festivities the annual spring egg hunt Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all the energy if you if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. And I still have no idea what the prize is because, again, I've never won this. 
Oh, God. It's gonna be bad. Now, is everyone ready? No! Let the egg hunt begin! Okay, um... I know I saw some down this way. Oh, quickly, grab that one. One there. I see one up here. Let's grab that. And one here. Ooh. Not doing too bad. Got 30 more seconds. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Apart from get stuck on a wall. Six. Not too bad. Come on. I know there's one down here. <laughs> um, okay, so that's blocked off. And I was told to look behind here, behind the maze thing, but there is stuff. There we go. So we've got eight. So apparently that should give me the win, hopefully. Be the first time ever. I do love the soundtrack to this game. Wow, look at all those eggs. No, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the Gem Sea. Or you could just hire people to do that. And now the winner of this year's egg hunt? Abigail. Of course. Uh, if I, I think, yeah, I think I needed one more and I would have actually won that. Here's your prize, Abigail. Enjoy. Ha, ah, there's always next year. Well, that's it for this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Okay, so it's 10 p.m. I've got some land sorted. Let's try and plant some of this. Sure, how many I can fit? Come on. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So, you know, a little bit off, but hey, it's all good. And we can water those now. That's not too bad. That's not really going to overdo our energy. But apparently it is one of the best ways to start spring, apart from obviously finding a coffee bean. But we've not been that lucky so far. But that's fine. You know, not hugely worried about making too much money. As long as we do reasonably well, I'm happy. Um, let's see. I am going to just quickly make another field snack, just because I have it. There we go. And yeah, so that's all good. Is there anything I can sell or get rid of that I don't really need so I can make a bit more money back? Yeah, I suppose the chub. But that's only going to be something like 100, I think. Uh, things I want to keep. Yeah, so it's just the chub. Uh, but we'll sell that. And I'm going to call it a day for this day, just because it's already 11.30. Probably could do a little bit of fishing, but seeing as what my pond's like, I don't feel there's much of a point. Hopefully, we'll see if there's a good luck day tomorrow. Let's check the weather. Cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. <laughs> good thing I'm not there. I tend to get hay fever quite badly. So, extra 50 gold, so I was half broke. <laughs> and my copper axe is ready. Let's check out the Queen of Sauce. Uh, you've learned how to cook coleslaw. Winner. Uh, how is my luck? <laughs> a little extra luck. And weather for tomorrow. It is going to be rain all day, so that's actually pretty damn good. Um, I like a bit of that. 
So we'll quickly water these and I'll get right back to you. Yeah, okay, that's awesome. That's all sorted. And I was just thinking for the question of the day, one thing I'd like to ask some people. Uh, obviously, a lot of people who will be watching this probably do game quite a lot themselves. Can't use that already. Uh, what I was wondering was, what other games do you guys enjoy? And is there any particular games that you think don't get enough sort of recognition? Um, one of my old personal favourites, and I know it still gets quite a lot of recognition, but it's one of the ones that I really enjoyed, was uh, Fallout New Vegas. I know it was hella buggy when it came out, um, but to be fair, they, I think they only had sort of like half the time that a normal Bethesda game would get made. But it, it's always stood out as one of my favourites and one that I still go back to today. So yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do at the moment is completely forget the fact that I have geodes that I want to take my flint, considering we're going there to pick up our new axe anyway, so run back quickly and grab those. And they're in here. Don't think there's anything else I need. Actually, oh, I'm not going to have the money for it because I'd still need 2,000. Well, I'll take that. And if I do get enough money, I could try and do the watering can. So maybe if we head down, uh, see if we can find any more forageables that we can sell. I mean, it's a very long shot, but if we can make about 2,000 today, that'd be amazing. And I know I should go see the traveling lady. see what she's got to sell for us today <laughs> she does have a coffee bean and of course it's 2500 just after I'd spent all my money oh dear lord oh. and this is why I never trust the game when it tells me I'm gonna have extra luck but oh well, nothing we can do about it. Let's just crack on. Let's go get some spring onions and I'll meet you back at Pierre's. Nothing and nothing. What I might quickly do as well, I believe we've got plenty of time. Let's just quickly check the beach before going up to Pierre's actually. Um, because then if we've got any shells that we can sell to Willy, that'd be an extra bit of money. And we seem to have a few. One. And by few, I mean two, unless there's some more over this side. But having the copper axe is really good, because now I can get into the other part of the woods, where I can really level up my foraging. I believe it's foraging by chopping the hardwood. So let's do that. Up to 500. <laughs> Just another 2,000 we go. I don't think there's any chance of that, so I'm not going to worry too much. So we'll head up to Pierre's. Checking some bins along the way, making sure we don't get caught, because... I don't want people to not like me because apparently it does drop their opinion of you. Uh, what have we got here? Wanted Slayer. Kill four green slimes. Yeah, we'll take that because we may pop up to the mines in just a moment after we've got our copper axe. Uh, so that's another 98. <laughs> awesome. And now we'll head down to Clint's. See what we've got in our geodes. See if we've got anything we can donate. And then, yeah, I believe we should have plenty of time. We'll go up to the mines. I don't even remember who actually offered that challenge. <laughs> it doesn't say. It just says kill four slimes. Normally it has a person you have to talk to about it. And thank you, Clint, for the copper axe. 
You legend. Uh, process some of my geodes, please. Oh, a little bit of coal. Some stone. And some more coal. Wow. Not the greatest, but... Got an upgraded tool. First one. Uh, coal is always good because they are a bit of a pain to find. So, with nothing to hand in, we'll head straight up to the mines. And hey, another field snack. Winner. I cannot wait to have the minecarts fixed. But that's going to be a little bit of a while from now on. Um, is there any other things that we can make? I can make... Tappers, they, they can be pretty good and are useful for sorting out another one of the bundles. Um, crab pots, we'll be able to make soon. Mayonnaise machine, there's no point until we've got chickens, I suppose. And again, so we'll mostly be going after the tappers, which I could probably do one of each. So that way we can get one of each. Yeah, because so, they can take two copper ore and 40 wood. So that's not too bad. So yeah, I think we might invest in doing that in like probably the next episode, I think. I mean, unless we find like a load more copper now. Either way, I'll make some of those up so we can get the maple syrup and all those other syrups and stuff. To help towards the bundle and they are pretty good for money wise especially considering it's something that you don't have to bother dealing with you just leave it let it do its thing there's a horse register up there but i don't really need that well, hey refined quartz so we'll drop some of this stuff up there don't really need that don't need that yeah, that's all fine See if we can get down to like level 20, maybe 25, possibly. Uh, right, kill you. I, I'm sorry, but I need you to die. Need to change that over. That's the way I like to have it. Now, apparently we're supposed to have a good luck day, so hopefully it'll be good luck in the mines. I'm going to collect that stone because I'm going to try and save up as many stones as I can for when we do eventually make it the skull cabin because one of the tips I've seen for that is definitely try and have lots of stone staircases. Let's take out these little buggies out here. I cannot wait to own a better sword. No, you don't, because I know you transform. And hey, we're not doing too bad on the old ore finding. Take that. Hello, you. Yeah, I mean, pretty much every one of those so far we've had, we've had at least three. And the odd one from there. Ooh. There's the stairs, and there is. I forget what this one is. <laughs> Amethyst, that's it. That is a good gift for Abigail. Also, very good for money wise. Oh, could you not? Thank you. And yeah, again, always try and get it from the side or up. Slay monsters. Ah, it's Lewis. Okay. Well, whilst we're here, let's just keep going for now. We're all right for time, money, and everything else. Uh, oh, no. That's why you gotta kill them quick, because if you leave them too long, they will transform into a bee. 
And we've got a star slime over here. That's... They normally drop really good stuff, but they are tanky. There we go, some sneakers, which are one defense. That's one defense and immunity, so I'm going to just sell those. Uh, train track, that's always good. Let's follow that down. So that normally leads you to where you can get some more coal. Nothing up here. And there's the coal. Nice. Six. That's always a win. So head back over here and go back down the ladder. Alright. <laughs> so much grass growing down here. Let's get through this. Of course I'm one of these ones. Yep. You're going to get me. Leave me alone. Just go away. Now, do we try and make it to the center, where there's some usually good stuff? I think we do. Let's give it a shot, see what we can find along the way. Another staircase? There we go. Hoping there'll be something good in the middle. I know last time I saw a spiral layer like this, it was just a load of boxes which basically had all stone. I mean, the rice shoots, getting those extra, that's never too bad. Again, that's just the fact that it's another prop that just grows itself, I don't have to worry about. Oh, you're all there. Okay. getting slime and getting kills on bugs which means that we should be working towards getting our prize from the adventurers guild okay let's see what garbage we get here cave carrot some more copper ore another cave carrot stone cave carrot and hello you come on there you go Cherry bomb. Oh, go away. At least we've got a staircase here. Yeet. And we get a steel so small sword. Steel small sword. Which is already better than our wooden sword, so we can sell that. And we also, I didn't notice that we picked up a small magnet ring. Winning. Pop that on there. Um, I want to put the cherry bomb up by the grass there. And we'll just have a little look, see what's down below one more level. Hey, bit of hardwood. And a fair bit more copper ore, so I am glad I came down the one extra level. Some more cave carrots. Push our luck. Mushroom. Nice. Now that's something I look forward to getting to is the actual mushroom floors because they can make you so much money. We're getting tired, so I'm going to head out. Grab our other stuff. Uh, bug meat, yeah, we've grabbed those. Grab that. We'll leave those up here. So there's plenty of stuff we can sell, so that's always a win. Quickly pop over to the Adventurer's Guild. See what we can sell. It's locked. 
So we'll do that on the next episode. Uh, so we'll quickly head back to the farm. See what we can throw in the bin for now. After getting stuck on another bush. Is there anything I can drop? Yeah, I'm going to drop that just so I can pick up. I know it's only a horseradish, but it's there, it's foraging, and it's a little bit more money than one bit of sap. Now, the bug meat, I may actually keep now because I think it's that that you use to make the bait. So I'm going to put that in there. Anything else I can put in? So that's mining stuff. So that go there, that go there. There we go. That should be fine. Find quartz. That I'll keep. Uh, ba -ba -ba, a bit of grass. Boom. And there we have it. Awesome. That's done. So I'll call it a night for now. Um, I'll see you in the next episode. And I hope you have a good day. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Maybe consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, have a good day.